Good evening, everybody. It is Meteorwatch and Swift Forecast here, and welcome back to another update, guys. I do apologize for uploading it pretty late. Uh, again, I did have another cross country meet today, and it actually started a bit later than the last time, so, and I had to uh, wait a little bit after the race to get picked up and all that. So, yeah, I just got home a couple minutes ago, and I had to eat dinner and everything, so that's why I did post a little later, and I hope it's okay if I post a little later. I was trying to post as fast as I can, guys. But yeah, we're going to be doing another tropical update on Hurricane Dorian. We actually have a lot of new systems here that we have uh, actually Tropical Storm Ferdinand now. And we have Tropical Depression 8. But we're going to be focusing on Dorian. If you guys are wondering why we focus on Dorian when it's weakening and it's central or it's min uh, minimal central pressure is going up. Like why are you going to be focusing on that? Because there's a very, very good chance we can actually potentially have a lot of issues from Florida all the way to North Carolina. It is starting to speed up in speed, but we have a lot of huge issues. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to like the video. And without further ado, let's get in the video. So here we are looking at the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook here. And here's Dorian. Again, it's it's moving a bit faster than it's not stalled anymore. So that's good. Or uh, it's actually not. It's actually pretty bad. We or is that no? Sorry, it's actually good that's speeding up now. Uh, because now it's not going to bring in huge more flooding issues now for the Bahamas and Florida. So it's going to start moving now a bit more to the north. So we have now um, maximum sustained winds at 95 knots, so 110 miles per hour. So now it's a Category 2 hurricane. Yeah, it's weakened a whole lot. It's weakening pretty fast since it stalled, and we have it going to some low 80s in the ocean, which is not so much uh, warm for an area for it to grow. Here we have minimal central pressures at 959 millibars. So it's, yeah, it's really, these numbers are climbing really fast. So yeah, it is starting to get a little bit less organized, but it finally has these winds pushing it now. So now it's moving northwest at six knots. Now we're to be looking at now the satellite imagery here. And it's actually changed a lot since um, this, um, this morning. So here we have, it's actually really, really, really big. I'm actually going to like go all the way up here to see it. All, but again, here we have this huge system. It's already bringing cloud covers all the way from West Palm Bay, all the way to Savannah, where we're having cloud cover from these from the system here. And it's interesting. We are seeing we are seeing a lot of vorticity. But look, the eye got really, really um, it, the eye started to disappear this morning. The eye got a little, really, really disorganized. Like we didn't really have an eye this morning, if you think about it. But now we actually have this eye getting a lot more organized right now. As you can tell, these uh, these clouds are separating. So now we do have a lot of cloud cover because it was pushing in. But now we have these clouds pushing out. So we finally have a cloud cover now. So we can see the sun right through the eye. Which is not a super duper good sign because there is a chance it could maybe get a little bit more strength. Not a whole lot. But again, that's a very, very low chance. And again, here we have this vorticity. Here we have that rotation. Again, like a like a tornado, it's like a rotation within the winds. Same thing here, and again, it is starting to weaken also because it is in some cooler waters. We still have some of the outer bands affecting the Bahamas, and we actually have a lot of cloud cover for much of the east coast already of Florida, and again, all the way to Savannah. Here, yeah, we're going to be seeing cloud cover for a long, very, very long time. In the eye, it's actually very, very close to Florida. It's actually incredibly lucky. I don't even know how it's possible that's taking this turn. It's incredibly lucky. You would think it would hit Florida if it's this close. But again, it's just incredibly lucky. Again, we have these outer bands that are bringing rain hundreds of miles away from the eye wall and the eye. So here we, this is where we have a lot of new updates right here on the, um, on the Conan timing. This is actually the one of the biggest um, details we are going to be looking at here. So again, here we have the Conan timing. And we actually have a lot, a lot of new updates on the watches and warnings. We actually now have hurricane warnings stretching from the um, the um, areas of Florida, the coast there. So if you're anywhere near Melbourne, now Jacksonville, you guys now have hurricane warnings now so from Melbourne all the way to the North Carolina coast. We don't have any for southeast or Georgia. We have a little bit. We're having, we, have, we actually have the it's stopping right on Savannah. So we have big cities like Melbourne, Jacksonville, Savannah, Myrtle Beach. We have uh, Charleston. We have Wilmington. All these areas are under hurricane warning. They have actually become widespread. I have a couple. Uh, I have a friend here on school that their grandparents um, were under mandatory evacuations, which means you, by law you have to get out of the areas. So yeah, it's kind of not optional. So they came here, and she was telling me about it how they had to leave from South Carolina there, 
near the um they're like in the eastern coast they're near myrtle beach so and then in the pink we do have hurricane watches and they've actually stretched a lot to the north now all the way from southeastern georgia all the way to parts of uh, Kitty Hawk and all the way to Virginia Beach. So in Virginia Beach, we have hurricane watches. Because, look, guys, it's going to get incredibly close to the coast. And there's a, actually a possibility, without a doubt, there's a possibility of, of possibly having a hurricane landfall on the islands of North Carolina. And then we have tropical storm watches in effect for areas in uh, southern uh, Delaware and parts of Maryland and the eastern coast of Virginia. And again, we still have these tropical storm warnings in the blue for parts of the southern coast of uh, Georgia and all the way near West Palm Bay. Again, here we have these tropical storm forest winds are stretching into Florida now. And we still have tropical storm warnings now for the Bahamas. So we, so we got those hurricane watches and warnings away, so, which is good. But we still have tropical storm forest winds in those areas. And again, it's going to be very, very slow moving. But all the way to Thursday, it's going to possibly be near Myrtle Beach or in Charleston. So that's where we have that issue. And then by Friday is going to be the big day where we can possibly have landfall. And then it's looking like it's actually a low possibility going to New England area now. Yesterday the cone was like this, but now it's gone a little more out into the sea. And we could possibly have some maybe um, Nova Scotia landfall there. So we just got to wait a little bit. Now we're going to be looking at the um, model tracks. And this is the big thing we're going to be looking at. It's actually... Um, um, Dorian actually did go a bit farther from the coast now, so the most of the models yesterday went like this, so now it is moving a bit more out to the uh, the east now, and the, it's very, very dangerous, very dangerous right here near Wilmington and between Kitty Hawk and Greenville. This is where we have the huge threat for, for possibly having a possibly Category 2 or Category 1 landfall right on these uh, the islands of North Carolina. There's a very, very high chance of this happening. And then we have one mall going straight through Greenville there. But the cone is most likely going through, the, um, possibly. Oh, this is the cone for the eyes. The cone's going to be way more widespread as we just saw. But this is where, if you're in between, or this is where we can see the majority. Uh, this is the greatest chance. If you're in between these two uh, yellow lines, this is where we have the greatest chance for having the eye, which is the worst again for it going through. So we just have to wait. I, I know it's really, it's the story I was really, is really complicated right now because there's a possibility it misses North Carolina, hits North Carolina, or maybe even possibly hits South Carolina. So there's a lot of possibilities. So again, here it is at um, 110 knots here. We know it's, uh, yeah, 110 knots. Uh, here it is as a category two, and I, like I said, there is that possibility of it strengthening as it goes into some warmer waters near Jacksonville and Savannah. There's a possibility it does go back to a category three, but a very, very weak category three. So again, it's currently a category two, but there's a good, there's a, a there's a somewhat low chance, maybe a 40% chance that it goes back to a major hurricane. And there's actually a very good chance that it may possibly hit North Carolina as a Category 2, if you guys are thinking. Isn't it weakening super fast? Like, how, how can it be Category 2 that long? Again, it's going to be going warmer waters, and it's going to be farther off the coast. So, it's going to be not like, not like stalling off the coast of Florida like that. And again, what's because, what, uh, it's a Category 2, but if it goes back to Category 2 after being a major hurricane again, it looks like it can be a Category 2 for a very, very, very long time. Again, we have some going like straight down like this. And then we have another majority swing like this. It's a very good chance that we can have a very ca a category two all the way until it goes near the New Jersey coast. And then by the, within the next possibly 72 to 120 hours, we should again have that hurricane, uh, uh, category one hurricane, and then back to tropical storm as it possibly makes landfall on Nova Scotia. So here we are going to be looking at it right now. Here it is right off the coast of Florida again, starting to bring in some about 27 knots there all the way to Florida, North uh, South Carolina coast. Again, it's going to be very, very close call. It's going to bring in possibly around 72 knots there for Jacksonville and Savannah. Savannah, we can actually have possibly category, uh, possibly category two force winds for those areas. We can see possibly 100 knots or more in Savannah. But again, it could change. And then also Charleston, you guys will be seeing some category one force winds too and then this is the issue right here this is where we have this issue as it goes through very close to north carolina as you can tell greenville and all those areas in wilmington kitty hawk you guys will be seeing category one, tropical storm in the category one force winds 
And again, that's Friday where we could have that issue. And then from then, it should go to Nova Scotia and bring in very strong winds. Again, it's going to be, it's going to actually be going to get a little stronger as it goes close to Nova Scotia. But again, we just have to wait just a little bit though. Um, now to be looking at the radar here in the GFS, and again here we have it possibly getting a bit stronger. So there we will be seeing these the central pressure going up just a little bit. And the, like I said earlier a couple of days ago, it's going to be getting a lot bigger as it continues. So look at the size of this thing; it's very very big, about the size of Ohio, maybe even a little bigger. But again, it's very very big system bringing in flooding rain still for the Bahamas. As it continues to move on, we're going to have huge flooding issues for Charleston, Myrtle Beach, and all the way into Wilmington, where we can have actually possibly the heaviest rain in Wilmington. And look at this, it's going to bring in a lot of issues for Raleigh. If you're all the way in Raleigh, you guys can still be seeing some possibly huge threats. And then for Kitty Hawk and those islands, you guys will be getting devastated from all the way from Thursday to uh, Saturday. We can have devastating rain all the way into uh, Virginia Beach and possibly in Delaware. We can have um, those huge rain issues. And now we're quickly going to be looking at the total accumulated precip for those people wondering exactly how much precip they can expect if this thing can load. Um, we'll be seeing a bit more precip heading in towards Virginia and Delaware. You guys might be on the clear of relief for not getting too much rain. So again, this is where you can have the most amount of rain right here, especially from Myrtle Beach or near Charleston all the way into Wilmington. We can have about possibly very very close to a foot or more maybe at most around 20 inches and then from all uh possibly good kitty hawk you guys will be seeing about five to nine inches and then savannah you guys won't be seeing too much rain and again all the way to virginia beach you guys will be seeing possibly eight inches of rain so guys this was the update on dorian hope you guys are all safe make sure you help any friends or neighbors and see you guys next time